Happy Friday folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keith and you're watching Commander Hoop Celtic. If it's your first time viewing the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. A thumbs up or a comment below on the video would be fantastic as well anytime. Look, I'm here to talk about three players today. Let's kick it off. Celtic are on the verge of signing a new winger. Sayad Hakasbanovic. He's a Montenegro international. He was born in Sweden, 23 years of age. He's, he currently plays for Rupa Kazan. They bought him for 6.5 million and they're looking to offload him. The reason why they're looking to offload him is because of the Russian-Ukraine conflict so they can recuperate some sort of money back off this deal. Now look, at, I'm not a big fan of this player. I watched a couple of clips and I don't think we need another winger. The reason why I don't think we need another winger is because we have a winger on our ranks that we're on the verge of trying to send them on loan to get more experience. But... Looks like reportedly this fee is meant to be around 4 million. We're looking to get this guy for Hagsbanovic. He's been capped from Monterey just around 30 times as well. So he's had stints at West Ham, which he never played competitive game for West Ham. Slavan Bidic signed him back in 2017. Never got a competitive game under Davy Moyes as well. So I don't know what Celtic are expecting from this. But Ange, we have to take Ange's board. He, if he's confident that he wants this guy over the line, which he hasn't really confirmed anything to the media yet, and they're doing the work in the background, Michael Nicholson, you have to take the chance, you know. If he's going to produce something good for Celtic and help us win titles and produce assists and goals, that's all we can say. That's all we can do. You know, at the end of the day, we're building a team here on the end of the second year, and we want to be more successful than last season. And what that means is getting a good European run together, winning the Scottish Cup, being competitive in the league and taking the league back as well and doing a clean slate against Rangers, doing the whitewash. And that's what we want to do this season. So let's see what happens with Sayad as the Vlanovic. He's meant, report he's meant to be in London within the next 24 hours to do the medical. And then hopefully the paperwork will be done. Flies up to Glasgow, work permit is done and he's, he's able to play for Celtic next week. Fingers crossed. Regards to Mikey Johnston, he's not getting much football recently. As you've seen, Jota is on the ranks there. Maeda is on the ranks on the left wing. And James E. Forrest has been playing on the left wing as well. One called upon. So Mikey Johnson needs a long move. I'm not speculating on teams. I'm just putting out there that it makes sense. If we're bringing one winger in, we have to get rid of another winger. And Mikey Johnson looks like he'd be a favourite to go out the door. If it's a long basis, if it's an Aberdeen, or it's the English Championship, or a League One side... I'd like to see him go to Fleetwood. I think Scott Brown would really um, nurture him on as a player. Scott Brown knows him well. Obviously playing with the senior team of Celtic. So Fleetwood, Mikey Johnson. I'm not speculating on it. I'm just saying from my opinion, it would be a good move for him as well. Let's see what happens. Regards to Musa Dembele, he looks like he's on the move this summer. Musa had some great years at Celtic. You know, some phenomenal goals against Rangers. But Juventus are looking at him. West Ham are looking at him. And Everton are looking at him. Leon bought him for 20 million. The only way Celtic are going to make money off this deal is he has to go for more than 25 million. And we have a 15% sell on clause. Now it looks like Juventus are going to buy him for 15 million. So it looks like Celtic will miss out on the windfall money. I've talked about windfall players and windfall money recently a lot on the on the channel. I've talked about Jeremy Fingpong perhaps going to Barcelona. I've also talked about Kieran Tierney going to Man City. And now Musa Dembele could be going to Juventus or like so West Ham or Everton. Who would you like to see Musa Dembele go to? It probably doesn't really bother you once you just see him playing first team football. He had a long move at Atletico Madrid a couple of seasons back, won a La Liga medal with Luis Suarez and then also went back to Leon, the parent, his parent club. So let me know what you think of the new potential signing coming in, Sead Hasbanovic. Talk about Mikey Johnson and also Musa Dembele. I'll speak to you all soon. Hearts the weekend. We're all looking forward to it. Three o'clock kickoff at Celtic Park on Sunday. Take care. Hell, hell of the Celts.